Hello and good morning everyone. It is very early this morning. SL Studio goes live this evening, the day that you guys are seeing this, but it's a couple days beforehand and things are pretty wild right now. I'm just making sure everything's okay. The website's been redone. It looks really great, but there's still things to do. And I'm a little stressed out. So a couple weeks ago, I asked you guys what you wanted me to film. And so many of you said to do a cooking video. Not gonna lie, cooking videos aren't my strongest point because I can't cook. So I decided to ask Sarah to come and help me today. She is an insane cook. If you follow her on Instagram, you would have already seen it. She does like a little cooking segment. But I just wanted to jump in and give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. They are an online learning community. So I personally use the site to learn French. I've been doing it for a couple months now. I've recently started using it for cooking videos as well. But a couple years ago, I actually learned how to do transitions and graphics for my videos from Skillshare. And it was so helpful honestly like that is actually how I learned how to edit my videos so there's something for everyone like I said you can do languages cooking being a little bit more creative with graphics and YouTube and that kind of thing so I'm gonna link it down below if you didn't want to check it out and you just wanted some kind of distraction I know things are very up and down at the moment if you just want somewhere to be a little bit more creative learn something new Skillshare is a really really good way to do that they have very very kindly given me an offer so the first 1,000 of you to click the link in the description and to sign up gets two months premium free membership so today's recipe will be in the description Skillshare will be in the description Sarah's links will be in the description and the link to SL Studios as well because the black and cream hoodies go live an hour after this goes live so enjoy today's video Today we're going to be making a really comforting, hearty, vegan meal. We're making a sweet potato chilli. It's not a curry, it's not a stew, it's just the perfect in between. With um, ginger, garlic and coriander rice. This is going to be perfect to have on a winter's day. Let's As it's getting cold here it. in the UK. It's sadly. very cold at the moment. <laughs> Hence, new jumper. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's go. We're going to start off with roasting the sweet potatoes, which we prepared earlier. Make sure you preheat your oven to 200 degrees. We're covering our tray with foil so that the sweet potato doesn't get stuck to the pan. This is one whole sweet potato. It's a very big one, so if you have small sweet potatoes, you can chop up three. But this was a really big one. We want to cover it with oil. Oil, are we doing olive? Let's do vegetable oil. oil. Sprinkle some of that over the sweet potatoes. Not too much. I'm gonna pass on the sweet potatoes to Sean and she's gonna season them. First one is, is oh my god, is Kayan or Kayan? I say Kayan, but Kayan, yeah. But that sounds like a boy's name, like Kayan. <laughs> That's a cute name. But because this is brand new, we've got to take off <laughs> the packaging first. <laughs> so, one teaspoon of we would usually do one um, teaspoon of cumin, but we sadly couldn't get any cumin from the shop today. So we're gonna have to do it without. And but please, usually do um, a teaspoon of cumin. Next is cinnamon. Again, one teaspoon. And then just sprinkle some chili flakes because we like it spicy. We like it spicy. And then we wanna mix it all up just so that the seasoning can get over the potatoes evenly. Like there. Perfect. Oh, and I'm sort of off. So we're gonna put that in the oven and that's gonna um, roast for about an hour and 40 minutes. Let me just check with the recipe. Check it, check it. In the meantime, while you're checking the recipe, yeah. I'm gonna do the three question game with you. Have you heard of it? Three question game. Yeah. Tell me. Okay, you guys can do it as well because of really, I saw this on Instagram this morning. It's so interesting. Number one, what is your favourite colour? My favourite colour <laughs> is like khaki green. Why? Three reasons why. You Reason get deep one, though. it matches my eyes. Number two, I think it's a really like it's quite a classy colour. Really? Number three, uh, it reminds me of nature. Okay. Oh, they're pretty good answers. <laughs> okay. Next question is, what is your favourite animal? Doggos. Three reasons why. Because I have a dog and her name's Tequila. <laughs> She's so cute. Well, you know what this thing is about your love so much. Okay. Second. They're full of personality, like okay. no other animal. And 
mind. They are just so cute. Okay, fair enough. That's three. Next question. What was it? Oh, okay. Out of all water, so ice, rain, snow, what one's your favorite? Mineral water. Why? Because <laughs> I drink it <laughs> and it keeps you hydrated. Mad. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, so, right. The reasons for these questions are number one, the color mm -hmm. describes you as a person. Yeah, I'm So you're really. like, no, the three reasons. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, like, yeah, I love classy, nature. I love nature. Am I classy? Yeah, I'm super classy. Always. <laughs> super classy. <laughs> then the second one is what you look for in someone else. Right, so what was my question? Uh, what was my he was like, I have a dog. <laughs> oh, right. What, so I look for dogs in other people. What was the other two that you said? What about dogs? Yeah. They're cute. And I like Tequila because she's got lots of personality. Personality. So that's what you look for in a partner. Yeah, I think you personality. Yeah. And then the rain one, what was the... No, you, I said water. rain. You said mineral water. Right? I said I like mineral water, yeah. And I think that's what you're just like looking for in life. Mineral water. No, the three things. Take me yes. to Sainsbury's for <laughs> mineral water. How did you describe it? I didn't, because you just cracked up laughing. Okay. And then we didn't get it. Well, that's what you're looking for in life. Oh, nice. Mineral water. There you go. Okay. You guys can play that with your friends. The three question game. Boom. Back to cooking. Let's go. Right. So, oh my God. I said to roast for an hour and 40 minutes. How long did you do? 45 minutes to an hour. So with the potatoes, you roast for 45 minutes to an hour. Right, so you wanna put some veg, two gloves of um, vegetable oil in our pan. One. Perfect. Already here we've chopped up one yellow pepper, one red pepper, and one large onion. So we're gonna put that all together. So for the peppers and onions, we want that to cook for about five to six minutes so that they get a bit soft. Okay, so another thing that I've been using Skillshare for personally is to learn a language. Oh, what la language have you learned? Bonjour, ça va? Uh, French? Oui. Ah! <laughs> I can't speak French, French, but that's really impressive, well done. Do you speak another language? I speak Norwegian. My Stop mom. it, no you don't. Yeah. Um, gluten apple. Is that Norwegian? Yeah. What's that? Good like, afternoon. Where's my apple? No, that's not Norwegian. Are you sure? Good morning, my apple. I think that's um, German though. Oh. I can speak it kind of fluently, but it's broken. But I would like to um, learn it fluently, so maybe I'll use Skillshare to learn it. Okay, um, start doing the, the spices. And then on top of that, you want to add salt and pepper too. Okay, so spices for this, I'm going to use the cayenne pepper again. The cinnamon we're going to go for. Mm -hmm. Chili flakes. And cumin if you have cumin. Okay, yeah, so a pack that I'm going to make to you guys and to you. Thanksgiving. Yeah. I'm going to learn how to cook and cook for everyone. Oh, that would be so lovely. I, I really think you're going to be able to do it. I hope. Right. I believe in you. So you want to allow the spices to cook for about three minutes before you add your coriander stalks, which I'm going to chop up in a second, and garlic. Right, let me just chop the coriander stalks. Oh, it smells so good. It does smell so good. Oh, I challenged myself to be vegan starting last week. Is it going well? I ate octopus the other day. Okay, it's not going well. It's not, but I'm going to try again. Sure. I'm going to no. try again. So, yeah. now we want to add the beans. Um, I don't want too much juice, so I'm going to empty some of the juice out. We are using red kidney beans. So I'm going to let that cook for about five minutes before I add the tin tomatoes. Okay, so my job is rice because I own a rice cooker and it's a life saver. Any of you guys are moving out soon or any of your friends are moving out, you want to get them a housewoman present, rice cooker. I've never used a rice cooker before. This is life changing. So does this cook your rice perfectly? Perfectly, every time. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so rice, I'm going to rinse it first. So we're using one slice of ginger, one clove of garlic, and a lime for the rice. We want to squeeze the lime. Shall I squeeze it on? Because it, it just gives it the flavour. And you also want to salt the rice. 
Oh, no, that's yeah. well. Inside the rice? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, trust me. Trust me, you'll thank you later. See? Yeah. So now that that's been cooking, we're gonna add the tin tomatoes. You can use chopped or plumbed, it does not matter. Stuck. Oh, yeah. oh that's <laughs> that. <laughs> And you're just going to leave that to cook until your sweet potatoes are done. I'm going to leave the recipe in the description and also just like a rundown of how we did it as well. Looks so healthy! Okay, so the day that this video goes up, SL Studios cream and black hoodies also go live at the same time. We should have worn them today. I have the cream one and I love it. It has cream. It's oversized, it's cozy, it looks cool. It's the best. It is lovely um so i'm gonna link that in the description as well i think this goes up an hour before they go live so heads up they go quick this is your warning mm -hmm. be there or be square just gonna give them a poke okay we're slowly getting there yes so that was the trip i needed to add a little bit more oil mm. needs maybe 10 minutes perfect Oh, it smells so oh, good. Okay, so sweet potatoes are all done now. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. We're gonna add them in to our chili. Yeah. And it smells way too good in here. You guys obviously can't smell this, but I reckon in the wild. future there'll be like something oh, they need to on where you can like smell through the screen. This smells good. Oh my god, this is like the perfect cold weather. Yeah. Oh my god, that smells insane. So good. Oh, that's hot. So it just adds like a little twang, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh my god, that's so good. Um, oh my god, it tastes like restaurant fries. Yeah? Mm. I would say it's good. Then a little drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. Whoa. Yum, let's do a little taste test. Squeezing that lime. Oh my god, yeah. What the <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Oh my god, this smells delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, cheers. Cheers, my dears. I'm scared. I feel like I'm going to be judged. <laughs> Mmm, okay. that's really good. The sweet potato just gives it that extra like sweetness, Edge. which is really good. Out of 10. I'm not going to rate my own meal. That'll make me look Why? so big headed in. <laughs> out I can rate You it. tell me what it's out of 10. So sharp. Yeah. What out of 10 would you give this? Out of 10, I would maybe give this, and I'm going to be harsh with you here. Yeah, because this isn't, when I'm not a restaurant, I'm not a chef. This is just what I make at home, so. I would give it an 8.5. Oh, jeez! Yeah. Why, thank you. Yeah, I would. That's so hard. Mm. Wow. Thank good. You. If any of you guys are becoming vegan soon and you want to do it with me, because we did this workout thing together last month. Right. And they were DMing me every day, reminding me to work out. It was so helpful. So yeah. if you're being vegan, this being vegan. If you're going vegan anytime soon, let me know and keep reminding me because I keep forgetting that I'm vegan. Good job, Sean. Teamwork. Yeah! But thank you guys so much for watching. If you want the recipe, it'll be down below. If you want to follow Sarah, her Instagram will be down below. And all the info for Skillshare as well. So, see you guys next time. Woo!